Hi, welcome to Coins Keyboard Works. This short video is to show you how to use and uh, how to record and recall a hardware macro in uh, in a keyboard with Nerd controller. Uh, first of all, you have to know you must know which key is the macro trigger key. I mapped macro trigger to the right control. Well, uh, to record a macro, the first step to do is make a triple hit on the macro trigger key. But you have to remember that the last, the third hit should be uh, a kept pressing down. Uh, I'll show you. Then see the the indicator LED will blink. If it blinks, it's now you are now in macro record mode. Uh, I I just run a I'm running a word pad just to show just to see what key inputs are actually sent to the OS this is not a required uh, required this step but I recommend you uh, if you want to see if your uh, key sequences are uh, correct or not if you make a wrong uh, macro you will have to record it again here I will type hello uh, if you uh, made a key key input sequence then you have to uh, designate at which key you will store the macro key sequence to do it uh, press down the key trigger macro trigger and choose any key on the keyboard I will uh, store it at this key okay now the blinking LED will be turned off this means you uh, came out from the record mode now you see the last full stop is not uh, included in the macro don't worry well let's test it uh, to recall the macro uh, press down keep pressing down the macro trigger and press the the key you have stored your macro I will press it down you see it yeah it's, it's slow because I typed it slowly if you don't want this you can change settings at Mac GUI macro tab I will uh, give you explanation for this later and uh, uh, one more thing when you entered the macro record mode but you want to uh, just cancel the record recording uh, just make a triple click again then the blinking LED will be turned off this means you are out of the record a uh, macro record mode okay that's it